Alright then, hey guys, what's up? This is Ninja Gamer of Ninja Gaming 101, and today, welcome to the 1000 subscriber special, the Q&A. I have been preparing for this for literally the whole week, animating this, getting the questions, everything in general, and it's taken a long time to do this, but now, it's finally out. Good lord. But anyways, before we get started on this video, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe if you are new to make sure that you don't miss a single minute of gameplay, live streams, or anything else that I do on the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into this Q&A. Alright, so first question. What is your favorite level in Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania? Good question, Dream Sonic. Me personally, I think for Sonic Mania, I would have to say I like Mirage Saloon the best. Just because I love all the different things in it from the armadillo bots to the actual saloons. It's overall the best desert level we've had in a Sonic game in my opinion. As for Sonic Forces, I'll go ahead and say that I like Metropolis the most. Just because I love the futuristic environment. The music is really good for them too, and for the most part, speed is maintained through the levels. Next question. Why is SBO your favorite Sonic character? If he isn't actually your favorite character, then tell me who is your real favorite character, and why? So a lot of people actually think SBO is my favorite character, and for good reason too. I use him as pretty much a mascot for this ninja channel, just because he's a ninja too, and he's in the Sonic game, so it was kind of perfect for this. But actually, he isn't actually my all-time favorite character in the series. My favorite character changes a lot of times, but right now I feel like I like Blaze the most. Simply because I feel like compared to the other girls in this series, she's pretty much the only one that has been really mature throughout her life, being independent and hasn't, oh, I don't know, been chasing blue hedgehogs or green gems or cute little chow. <laughs> oh man. I've always really liked her character and plus she's almost as fast as Sonic and she has fire powers. Who wouldn't love that? This is very hard to say, but what is your favorite moment when you played in Sonic Forces, and what is your favorite song in Sonic Forces? That's actually a really good question. As with most people, I was pretty disappointed with what Sonic Forces came out to be, but I still did like it to some extent. But to answer your question, honestly, I feel like the best moment in the game was probably at the end of the Zavik fight, when Sonic literally pulled a Super Smash Bros and just walloped on the guy. Like, dang Sonic, chill, my boy. Oh, and for favorite music, that would probably have to go to Imperial Tower. I don't know why, but I can always vibe to that song, and it especially helps that it's also one of my favorite stages in the whole game. So, yeah. Are you still raging about that time when you played that hard Mario Maker stage? We don't talk about Mario Maker fails. We don't ever speak of them. Got it? Good. Can I please get a shout out? Please bro, I need the subs. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I could, but then I would have to move this other thing out of my schedule. I'd also have to get your channel link again, and I'm too lazy. Hmm, eh, sorry dude, not worth my time. Oh wait, do you know the way? Uh, my dude, I should be asking you. Do you know that way? In what areas do you think Sega should improve their marketing or commercials for Sonic? Good question. I feel like they should probably just take the route that Nintendo is with their Switch commercials. They don't generalize audiences and instead they just show what the Switch can do. Let a bunch of people play it and they make it fun. Do that with Sonic commercials and add in a little bit of Sonic animation and some lines and I think they'll really start interesting people with their games. Also, what habits do you want Sega to stop when creating Sonic games? Stop always going to 2D, Sega. Just stop. 2D can be fun sometimes, but at this point, Sega is just defaulting to it to be lazy. I mean, have you seen level design from Sonic Forces? Not to mention Sonic would just be overall better in 3D. It gives more room for just more ideas to be thrown in. Come on, Sega, be creative. Make your games fun and actually 3D. That's my suggestion. And lastly, what do you think would make the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie successful? 
All they really need to do to make it successful is just to follow one of the main storylines of the original games, don't try to make new characters, and stay faithful to each character's attitude, and I think we'll be good. But let's be honest, there's no real chance of them actually doing that. Ugh. Oh well. What game did you have low expectations for but ended up really liking? For this one, I'm gonna have to say Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice. Honestly, after seeing the first two games come out, I had no real faith in the Sonic Boom games. But after watching Kobe play the game and seeing how polished it was, and then playing it myself and actually feeling really fast, I think I honestly really really like it. So props to them for improving. I can't believe I'm actually looking forward to their next game. What do you think Sega should do after Sonic Forces? And what are your thoughts on the game overall? What are your opinions on buying the Super Sonic DLC? And lastly, what do you think about Sonic Mania 2 and SA3? Keep up the great work, dude. Thanks for the question, my dude. If I recall correctly, you've been here for quite some time, and I'm actually kind of glad to see you still being here on the channel. But anyways, to answer your questions, I think I kind of already covered what Sega should do after Sonic Forces. They kind of just need to make it more fun and more 3D. And they also need to make the story make sense too. Sonic Forces as a game was pretty good as in itself, but I feel like they could have made it a lot better. As for the Super Sonic DLC, I won't say too much on that because that's a video in itself already, but just know that I definitely don't support it, and I really hope that they don't continue doing that. And finally, for your last question about Mania 2 and SA3, for both of those, I would say stay true to the original, but improve on the ideas and don't rehash. Make a better story too, and I think will be good. Do you want Sega to make Sonic Boom Season 3? Yes, actually, I do. And I think that they even hinted in the last episode of Season 2 that they actually would be doing Season 3. I really liked how they did the first two seasons, especially the characters, and it would be super interesting to see what they come up with next. Do you like 2K? To be honest, I don't really. I mean, I used to play a bit of it with my dad, but for whatever reason, we just stopped playing for a while, and then I just slowly stopped liking the game. I do still like NBA Jam, though. That was really fun and still is to this day. And who knows, maybe I'll pick up 2K again sometime. I mean, I did get the new one for Christmas, so maybe it is finally time. Who knows? Are you a Sonic fan or a Mario fan? How could you ask a question like that? I hate both! I hate jumping around and I hate going fast. That's why you've never, ever, ever seen me play these games. And neither will you ever cap me with one. Isn't that right, Boomy-sama? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Definitely. Totally. Is this the first channel you've had, or have there been others before it? And how do your parents feel about your channel? Actually, surprisingly enough, my parents have always been really supportive of me having a YouTube channel. I mean, at first they were a bit skeptical, but they did eventually let me do it. And ever since then, they've been helping me out with getting equipment, games, and etc. So I really have to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to them. I wouldn't be as successful as I am without them. Thanks, Mom and Dad. But yeah, as for having other channels before, there's only really one that I've had before this one, and that channel was just called The Ninja Gamer. I uploaded on this for quite some time, but I was never really consistent with it. The quality was super bad, and I didn't really like it overall. So once I realized that I wanted to start being serious with YouTube, I just made a completely new channel and just started all over. And, uh... Let me just say, that was probably a really, really good decision. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? I actually don't really watch anime. I've heard really good things about it, but I haven't really found any actual series that resonated with me. So, uh, yeah. What's your favorite video that you've ever made? Do you like Sonic Mania or Sonic Forces more? And who is your favorite YouTuber to watch or someone who inspired you? Hmm, my favorite video I've ever made. Well, if I were to choose, it would probably be between three different videos. Those being my I Am Back video from when I returned from my hiatus on the channel, my Top 5 Favorite Sonic Games video, which sadly didn't get as much appreciation as I had hoped, but whatever I guess, and then the third being my Infinite GMV. All three of these really hold a special place in my heart, and I'm looking forward to making more videos like them in the future. 
As for liking Maya or Forces more, I think I like Forces a bit more. Not because it actually had better quality or anything, but mostly because I've always loved modern Sonic games more than the classics. That's just a preference that I have. And then my favorite YouTuber, hmm. That would probably have to be between Preston Plays, Kobano Mary456, and Markiplier. They're all cool dudes to me, and they make some really, really good content. They are really big inspirations to me as well. I probably wouldn't even be interested in YouTube without the first two. So yeah. Where can I ask questions? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it looks like you found the right place. Or did you? So it's a new text channel? No, actually this is my Q&A text channel that has always existed ever since the beginning of time. I think you're just now noticing it too. But hey, better late than never, right? What do you think about Doctor Who? I don't actually watch it so I really can't say anything. <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber? I think I kind of already answered that, but it's between Preston Plays, Kobarame456, and Markiplier. What type of Sonic game do you want in 2018? And if you had to port one Sonic game to PC, which would it be? Oh my gosh. It's the one and only Kobeman457! Everyone! He's graced us with his presence! Finally! After all these years! Ahem. <clears throat> but anyway. I honestly don't think that Sega should put out any big Sonic games this year. And instead, they just need to improve the formulas of Sonic, make their games more fun and polished, and when the games are actually ready to be released, then they can put them out. Oh, and porting any Sonic game to PC. Hmm, let me think on that. Um, I just can't seem to think of a game. Oh man, this is really hard. Hmm, I don't know, man. Do you? I don't. Do you have a car? Nope. But, uh, mom and dad, I know you're watching this. You wanna <clears throat> do something about that? Yeah? No? Okay. That's fine. How does it feel to have over 1,000 subscribers? What kind of thrill does it give you? Honestly, it feels like. Wait. Wait a second. Boomy-sama has graced us with his presence once again! Everyone, make preparations! But anyway, while my kitchen ninjas are doing their thing, honestly, it feels really good to have this big of an audience and to be able to put smiles on people's faces every time I upload. It really does feel awesome, and I can't thank everyone enough for their support. Shout out to the ninja fam, you guys are the best! Why Espio out of all the other Sonic characters? I'm just gonna assume you mean for the Mania mod, but honestly, it was because I mainly felt like it would be interesting to see him in a Mania mod, and I felt like you guys, the Ninja fan, would especially appreciate it. So yeah, now if only I could find a whole team to help us with this. But if you mean for my favorite Sonic character, like I've said before, he isn't actually my favorite, but rather just a mascot for the channel. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. Where are you gonna give me your channel? JK. A better question is, when are you gonna get more than 170 subscribers? I mean, my dude, come on. You know I need them more than you. So gimme, gimme, gimme! How much is your channel? I'd love to buy it. Well, that would have to be about 500 easy payments of just one zero one dollars Plus shipping, and handling, and tax. And, uh, I kind of lost a lot from demonetization, so let's add that in. And, uh, yep, this is affordable. Let me know when you have that much, dude. See you then! What is your favorite Mario game? Name your top three favorite Nintendo consoles in order. And what is your favorite food? I think my favorite Mario game, minus the ending, would probably have to be Super Mario Odyssey. I'm just amazed at how they made a game about literally throwing a single cap around. So fun. Man, Nintendo is super creative. In terms of top three favorite Nintendo consoles, Number 3 would have to be the Wii. Second place goes to the 3DS, and the first place is always gonna have to be the Switch. All three of these are really cool systems, especially for their time. So yeah. And then my favorite food. Ooh, man. Gonna have to say that's between baby back barbecue ribs or some good old Japanese steakhouse. That stuff is always good. Have you ever thought about doing video game reviews? And if so, would you stick to one genre or be varied with it? Actually, I've thought several times of reviewing games, 
but by the time I was actually able to sit down and review them, it was pretty much late to do so anyway, so yeah. But I will be trying to do this in the future with a bunch of different games that come out, and that includes sponsorships. So uh, if anyone wants to, you know, sponsor me, send me an email or something and I'll see what we'll be able to do. Like and subscribe. Oh yes, definitely like and subscribe. In fact, you know what? I'll wait for you to do it. You did it? Good! Now let it stay that way. What inspired you to do YouTube? And what direction do you see your channel going in the future? Oh hey, look! It's the Logan Man himself! Sup, Meta, my boy? But anyways, honestly what inspired me the most was admittedly Kobe and his channel. Ever since I found his channel all those years ago, I was always inspired to do videos like he did, what with recording a bunch of different games, making people smile, and enjoying myself. And the direction of the channel? Honestly, I feel like in both the near and far future, it's gonna just keep on growing with the community. And I see myself probably getting better at animation, editing, and thumbnails. What do you guys think? What direction do you think the channel is going in? Let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, and by the way, Meta, Kirby is trash. Turn it down! Oh! Oh! Hmm, which game series do you prefer? Sonic all the way. I don't even have to explain myself, do I? Oh, and by the way, you still owe me those subs! Who was the first YouTuber you watched? Dang, how do I keep on talking about this, dude? But anyway, it was actually Kobe. He was the first one I ever saw, and I don't remember how I found him, but I ended up actually finding him in a Wii U giveaway that I entered. It's actually kind of a funny story now that I think about it. Maybe I'll tell it sometime. If you were to remove a letter from the alphabet, which would it be? It would be X. I don't know why I chose it. X is just... Eh. I don't know. How old are you? I'm actually 16 years old, but I'm gonna be turning 17 next month on February 25th. So, uh, don't forget my birthday. But anyways, there we go. We're done with all the questions for this Q&A. This was really fun to do. Man, I need to do more of these, honestly. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing more of these in the future. But anyways, that's gonna have to be it for this 1,000 subscriber special. I really want to thank you guys so very much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. If you guys did enjoy, of course, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you are new to make sure that you don't miss a zoom in of gameplay, live streams, or anything else that I do. And yeah, I really, really can't thank you guys enough for your support. Let's keep on going. But anyways, thanks for watching again, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace! My name is Fam, and take care.